Yo, how's it going? This is I'm a 76 x here with another commentary for you. Um, it's been a little while since my last uh, commentary. And don't let this fool you, this is not the beta. This is an actual game I played uh, today, actually, a few hours ago. And uh, we're on Operation Metro, but we are playing Conquest. And unfortunately, I'm not playing Hardcore because... I don't know, I can't find any hardcore servers in the browser when I go to look for it. It's kind of driving me crazy <laughs> a little. But, uh, so, but I, I'll just play regular until they fix it. I'm sure they'll fix it. But, um, I'll chime in here and there with this uh, commentary, but for uh, gameplay, what's actually going on. It starts off pretty awesome, though, for me. <laughs> like right about... Bam. <laughs> I'm using the MP7, which you unlock through playing the cooperative campaign. Uh, it's really fucking good. I would suggest uh, using it when you unlock it. Um, best attachments I've found for it are uh, red dots, pretty nice, and in regular I prefer a uh, extended mag over the standard magazine because the standard magazine, as you can see right there, only has 21 rounds. But right here, that doesn't really make much of a difference, because I just fucking beast it up right now. Oh, hey, extended bags, yay. <laughs> um, yeah, right here, that's just, they just keep uh, kind of bottlenecking them right here. Sweet aiming, bro. Oh, hey, I actually killed them. Pretty nice. <laughs> uh, I wish I started off with two grenades. That's one thing I totally wish. <laughs> um, but I kind of want to talk about uh, little things like that, uh, like, I wanted to talk about the cooperative campaign and the campaign, just my thoughts on the game. Um, I beat the campaign first, as I, I don't know why I cannot revive this guy. <laughs> it was like he was perma-dead. <laughs> but, uh, I tried. Oh shit. Um, I beat the cooperative campaign and the campaign. Now, I've, uh, heard from people, like, uh, I know IGN has given the game a really good rating, gave it a 9 out of 10, and, um, from what I've played so far, that seems pretty close to what I would maybe give it, <laughs> uh, not just for the campaign, the whole campaign by itself is 9 material, but, uh, everything else I've played so far has been pretty freaking good, um, <laughs> Uh, I beat the campaign first on hard mode. Um, it was actually kind of funny because before I beat the campaign, I was at work and I was talking to a guy and he came up and he's like, what do you think of the campaign? I'm like, uh, I'm actually liking it uh, quite a bit. Um, I was around the uh, I was around the middle of the mission. I think I just beat Thunder Run and uh, or the campaign of the mission. I was, I was on Thunder Run, I think, or I just beat Thunder Run. And, uh, owned. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it pretty much. I got, I got caught up in one part of the, the campaign uh, where you have to eliminate the MG nests on uh, Operation Guillotine. That really pissed me off. Um, I, I'll have to say that, like, every... It seems like every first-person shooter does a few things, like, they, they kind of all do, like, a one thing in common, like, whatever it may be, and... Of, of the entire genre, I hate taking out MG nests. It's the cheapest thing. Like, I fucking hate taking out MG nests on this asshole. <laughs> whatever. I don't even know where he came from or why no one else killed him, but whatever. No, I hate taking out MG nests. It's the most frustrating thing. This, The only part of the game I actually got caught up on for a considerable amount of time was taking out those MG nests, because I play the campaign on hard. And, uh, you know, I was, like, thinking, like, either I could, you know, capture footage of each in individual mission and make a full-blown review of the game, or I could just talk about it while playing multiplayer. And, uh, this is what I chose to do, just because I don't think the time and effort it would have taken me to put it into it I could really do right now, considering how busy I am. I'm actually, probably should be working on another project right now for school, but, uh, fuck it. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, so I, I hate that part. I, I got caught up on it for about an hour or two, which is uh, pretty 
pretty bad, but I've been in worse situations. Like on Black Ops, where you have to run down the hill in Vietnam to throw the napalm tanks in the fucking trenches. That took me. I was getting pissed. I actually considered fucking dropping the difficulty for that part, but I didn't. I was able to get through it. Once I figured out you're supposed to kick the barrels over into the trenches. <laughs> but uh, no, he's like, oh man, I'm, I don't really like it, man. I think it's uh, really short. I'm like, short. I'm like, well, I mean, I got caught up on that one part for about an hour, but like, uh, I. I didn't think it was short by any means. I mean, it took me probably about seven or ten hours, which is pretty reasonable considering, you know? And, um, I'm like, well, what difficulty do you play it on? Bullshit. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> when he runs away. Uh, whatever. Um, but anyway, I'm like, well, what difficulty do you play it on? He's like, oh, easy. I'm like, well, of course, you're not gonna fucking, you know, it's not gonna take you any time if you play it on easy. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, right here. Watch this. Kill that guy. I didn't even see this guy in the fucking corner because, you know, I go over here to revive my teammate and this fucking guy. I didn't even see him. Look, his fucking legs are through the wall. Like, what the hell is that shit? The one thing in Call of Duty that Call of Duty does realistically, and you can't even see your fucking legs when you do it, is your invisible legs hit the wall so you can't do shit like that. You'd be sticking out a lot more. Like, but you can see your legs in this game. You can't see him in Call of Duty. Like... It's so confusing. So, this is just, uh, I should have cut this out to make myself look even better, but uh, I get killed like three times in a row here from three guys in a corner. Like, that was the first guy right there. And I'm running around doing whatever. I saw some red dots on my radar. Um, in terms of multiplayer, that's a weird thing, because I, I love playing hardcore. I did get a chance to play a little bit of hardcore, but, uh, like, the servers are down, like, right now, like I said. But you can see your map. Watch this. So I know these guys are over here now. And what a failed grenade. I'm like, about to go. Look, I die. I'm like, what the hell killed me? What, what's going on here? A guy in a fucking corner again. Doing the same exact bullshit with his legs through the fucking wall. What an asshole. <laughs> um, but, uh, God, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah, you can see your radar on the hardcore, but you can't see your health, and you can't see your ammo, and more importantly, you can't see what firing mode you have in. Right there. There's a third time. Killed by a guy in a fucking corner. You son of a bitch. How pissed off I was right now. <laughs> That's alright, I'm about to get my revenge. <laughs> Oh, hey, that was the second to last time I die in this game. That's pretty awesome. I know that. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, yeah, you can't see your select fire. I mean, of all the things, it's like, if you're gonna show me... If you're gonna show me my radar, or my map, or whatever, you might as well show me my firing mode, because that can get really confusing when you're in a, uh... Like, when you, when you have more than two firing modes, like, some of the guns have three firing modes. Oh, bitch. So, I, I kind of wish you could... Oh! Fuck yeah. I don't know how you didn't die, but you're dead now. Oh. <laughs> um... But yeah, I, uh... I don't get that. But they definitely need to add more fucking, uh, hardcore servers, because... I was not able to find any hardcore servers until I, uh put it on show full games or whatever and all of them were full with like a 10 person queue I'm like there is no way me and my friends would be able to play this at this point in hardcore because we always play hardcore because it's a lot less BS I mean the guns seem pretty strong in this but in terms of like long range sniping that me and a few of my friends like to do it's uh, a lot more challenging to do in regular and it just seems a lot more cheap because people can spot you and stupid crap like that. And I mean, it's I use it, but I prefer if uh, I can't get spotted. You know, I, uh, I I can deal with this, but I'd rather play hardcore. That's just me. <laughs> um, give me them dog tags, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, in terms of the campaign. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a mixture of Call of Duty 4's own bitch, <laughs> Call of Duty 4's campaign, and Black Ops' campaign, 
but I don't think it's as good as either of those can be. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, kid. <laughs> um, I don't think it's as good as either of those campaigns because they both, well, I don't know, they both had uh, some pretty epic moments. How? I see if that were hardcore, those guys would have both been dead a long time ago. But watch this. Uh, I can run up a knife. <laughs> oh, somebody else killed him. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Ran out of ammo on both my guns. See that right there? I would have killed them, but the fucking aim assist kept swapping in between them and it was messing with my uh, aim. It was like, come on. But if it were hardcore, I probably would have killed both of them sooner. <laughs> um, but uh, I will say that there are some pretty epic moments in the campaign. There's no, like, uh, super awesome. Here's the first aid, man. Like, like in, uh, like, super awesome, like, moment in particular that I can, uh, I, I enjoyed pretty much all of the missions, but, uh, like, for example, in Call of Duty 4, the, the Call of Duty 4 was by far, in my opinion, the best, uh, single player campaign in terms of a first person shooter, because it had two awesome moments that were just like, holy shit, that's cool, like, uh, when you're in Chernobyl and sniping, you're gonna go snipe uh, what's his face, Zekiev. And uh, when you get nuked, you're not expecting that to happen. That's like a what moment, you know? And then Black Ops was, uh, I don't know, like it, it had a really interesting storyline. It did the uh, a very interesting thing when you go back in time to play as, uh, <coughs> uh, what's his face? When you play as, uh, What's it? Why is I keep thinking Ramirez, but it's not Ramirez. It's a Russian guy that you play as. Uh, <laughs> or the, the Russian imaginary friend. What are, I can't remember his name, man. Reznov! There we go. Reznov! <laughs> uh, that, that's an awesome mission. And the, those are the kind of things that... Uh, those are the reasons why Call of Duty usually has a better single-player campaign. Like, I, I will say that I like this campaign better than I like Bad Company 2's campaign. And I really like Bad Company 2's campaign, but I think this is a really, it's a fun campaign, and one thing it does better than the other ones is it gives you some amazing imagery in the missions, just, that's awesome <laughs> stuff, but, uh, you know, I, I would give the campaign probably like a 7.5 or an 8, just because it doesn't feel quite as original, but it is interesting, it's like, it's got a more realistic feeling and twist to it, so I mean, it's it's not that bad. Um, it's it's just not. Uh, it wouldn't win movie of the year, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's pretty fun. Um, could I give this game a score at this point in time? <clears throat> I I would give it a uh, at least an eight and a half, at the very least, to an, a nine. So. Once they get a few kinks out of it, I mean, it would probably be uh, perfect. Like, once they get the servers all set up and stuff. But, yeah, as of right now, I'm having a great time playing it, and I like the maps. And, yeah, so let me know what you think. Take it easy, guys.